Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosemary, this is Rosemary's You Rock Art. If you are returning, thank you, I truly appreciate it. If you're checking this out for the first time, I hope you stick around. Please consider hitting that subscribe button, like, comment, share, and hit that bell so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. I have a collective haul for you. I have items from Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby, and I will get started with the Dollar Tree items. They have just put out a section for Mother's Day gifts, so I took a peek and I found these Bolero Facial Wash. Now, I have been buying the Bolero Facial Wash for a couple of years now. Prior to that, I was buying Beauty Control and a tube like this back then was like $18 and to me, this feels acts just like the beauty control so uh for now a dollar 25 i think that's still an awesome deal so i bought this one i think it's a hibiscus rose and then this one's a cucumber uh chamomile cucumber so i'm real happy to always find those and when i do i stock up all right um for junk journaling in the teaching tree area i found these cards and i thought these would be really cool to add to junk journals so you get quite a few cards in there and these are letters so like for instance they have a for alligator and they go through the alphabet so i thought for junk journals to stick in there i think these were cute i also picked up first words and again the same thing uh you know F for Fox and stuff like that. So I thought those were so cute. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to do with those. All right. Uh, I picked up one more pack of each of the Shore Living. I think that's what it's called. Uh, uh, yeah, something like that. Uh, because I have a project coming up really soon. I'm going to be doing a mermaid journal. So I probably will use all these up. So I thought, well... I'll replenish what I'm going to use. So I bought me one more pack of each of the stickers that they have out right now. And again, they are called, oh, it's written in, yeah, Shore Living. So picked up one each more of these stickers. So those are, those are fun. Uh, speaking of stickers, I picked up these, uh, they're stickers, they're glass stickers. Uh, I already used the largest um, flamingo <laughs> from this pack, so that's why that uh, flamingo is missing. But those you can just put on um, any kind of craft. They stick really well, so I got that. Uh, more stickers. Oh, let me show you more stuff from the shoreline. I picked up um, the clips there are whales got those uh also picked up the i think these are the mermaids gosh these are so hard to see yes mermaids of course you can leave them plain or you can you know color them these are the oh fish i didn't have the whales or the fish so i got those uh, I'm going to be doing in the near future a little golden book junk journal trolls. So I picked up these troll stickers. And I have another troll stickers here. Oh, uh, let's see. Right here. So those will be set aside for that specific junk journal. Um, I also am going to be doing a junk journal, um, all to do with unicorns. I think the little golden book is called I'm a Unicorn. So I got these unicorn stickers. Those are so cute. And I have other unicorn stickers, so I'll, I'll just uh, grab from that. But I also picked up these ones, kind of a little glary, but those are cute for that junk journal. For a future junk journal, I have a lot of little golden books that are Mickey Mouse, so I picked up these. Let me see if I can put something behind them. 
aren't those cute little stickers? I think those are super adorable. So I will put those aside. Uh, I saw these puppies. And then these pop-up uh, koalas. And again, these are for future junk journals. Those are really, really cute. The little circus. Uh, this is like for a classroom. And then, oh, I was still shopping for more flamingo items. Got those. Uh, picked up from the shoreline. We're going to go back to that shore living. I picked up one more fabric of the mermaid. Let me see if I can open this. Oh, yeah. Uh, one more uh, fabric piece. I think it's like 20 by 20, 20 by 21. And it has a lot of mermaids. I'm going to be putting this in my mermaid journal somehow, either on the cover, back cover, not sure. But isn't that pretty? I love it. I love it. So that'll be part of the mermaid journal. Speaking of journals, I saw this, uh, they are calling this, it's by Jot, uh, computer paper. You get 30 sheets for $1.25. Not quite sure if that's the best deal, you know. We normally get our computer paper from Sam's Club in that big old mega case. But this one has a bunch of colors, and I'm going to open this up. I got four packs. You get orange, yellow, pink, green, and blue. And I thought, yeah, those are really nice to fill in the journals. You know, just add little writing spots and stuff like that. So I picked that up and uh, we'll be using that for journals. Speaking of journals, more journal items, I picked up two more baby headbands. Uh, these are perfect for the little golden book uh, of closures. Uh, the ones I picked up at Hobby Lobby several weeks ago, those headbands uh, that were just regular headbands, they're too big. So if I'm doing an extra big journal, they work, but normally I do little golden book uh, junk journals or that size so these baby headbands work perfect for the closures so this one was the white and bright pink or like yeah bright pink so that is what I picked up from Dollar Tree so let me just move on over to my Hobby Lobby uh, purchases all right let me gather it all up here because I uh, was looking at uh, clearance area of course I love looking at the clearance area and also uh, where they have Easter on a discount and I found a lot of goodies so let me just organize my items right here I think all right so I'm going to show you my discount items that I found you know in the clearance area um, I had bought a pack of these. These are a repurchase, and I think they just pack them up after they get done framing. These are the mat boards. This is what I use for um, junk journal uh, front and back covers if I'm not doing a little golden book. Uh, of course, if I'm doing a little golden book, I use the actual front and back cover of the uh, uh, golden book. This... Uh, like I said, it's packaged up. There's how many you get. And these were uh, $4, basically. And I thought, perfect, because I used my very last one for my last journal. So, glad to have found that. Actually, uh, when I was with Camille, she and I went to Hobby Lobby. She spotted these. She goes, oh, don't you use those? And I said, yes, I actually needed them. So, I'm glad that she spotted those. Also in the clearance area, I saw these, uh, I think they're called stickabilities. 
yeah and they're wreaths and they were there's the price right there and there's the item I thought cool yeah I'll set those aside uh let's see I'm gonna put those clearance items away over there I have it just like in a big old pile I found these pins not writing pens pins and I thought oh these are perfect for my upcoming uh, mermaid journal and my seaside journal so and those were on clearance and look at those nice pins hope you can see them I can't tell if you can see them uh, one is a wave um, I think a palm I can't tell oh there's a good shot of it cool so yeah uh, that's a cool find in the clearance area um, so my dear friend Donna came over and picked out eight little golden books that she wants me to make into junk journals for Christmas time. So, you know, I'm almost caught up with the uh, current orders. So I'm just going to make hers, you know, um, maybe I'll make one or two and then give them to her and then a couple more and hopefully have them all done by Christmas time. One of the ones that she wants me to make is a little golden book, Frozen. So I happen to find these in the clearance area that I can use. So there was four of them. Is that right? Four? One, two, three, four. So I picked them all up. Uh, let's see. Clearance, clearance, clearance. I think that's all from the clearance area. Let me show you uh, what else I picked up. Just in the paper. These were not on clearance. These are all wood look. And I'm getting ready to do... Uh, baby animals on the farm or in the barn. I'm not sure what the title is. <laughs> it's right here. Let's see if I can reach it. Uh, this is my next little golden book that I'm going to be working on. Uh, baby animals on the farm. They could be in the barn too, but they're on the farm. So that's the little golden book I'm going to be, um, you know, taking apart and making a junk journal. So I've bought these uh, eight by 10 or eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper. There's the dark and light gray. Uh, there's this green one. I'm not sure if that's gonna go in the junk journal. I don't know if that color is in there. I thought this was kind of fun. Again, I just picked out a lot of wood look uh, paper because I think it'll be the right look for uh, the junk journal. I don't know if the color's gonna be right, but. I thought, well, I'll have it anyway. I think this will go good. Red, white, and blue uh, wood. And then, let's see, did I get another wood look one? Nope. And then I got this uh, checker, plaid kind of one. Small little checker one. So I think those will be just perfect for, uh, you know, adding pockets and stuff and tuck spots to that little golden book. All right, uh, in the, let's see. Oh, speaking of that little golden book, a junk journal, uh, Baby Animals on the Farm, I picked up these cutouts. They're stickabilities. They were not on sale, but they have everything to do with uh, baby animals on the farm. And there's the ones you get. So I picked those up. I also picked these up. I am not quite sure if I'm going to use them. They are wood pieces. Uh, and again, I really like the barn and the little cow and the tractor and the little pig. But I'm not sure if I'm going to use these in the journal. I don't know if it's going to be too thick for the pages. Uh, my dear friend Melissa over at Buy Mimi With Love suggested that... Um, that I might use it as a dangle. So uh, we'll see. Or the cover. I think she said the cover. I think Camille had mentioned that I can put a little hole and use it as a dangle. That's that's what is going on there. So I got those for that project. All right. We went over to the Easter section, which is, <clears throat> excuse me, 75% off. I got so excited I lost my voice. <laughs> Uh, 75 percent off so um, I'm not going to do the math but I'll show you 
I got these two uh, spools of ribbon. Here's the price, 75% off. And there's the two that I got. You can use them anytime. It doesn't have to be for Easter. This one does have to be for Easter because it is, there's the price on that, 75% off. And that one, look how cute. It has uh, bunnies. Um, I didn't actually really take a close, close look, but I think it has, yes, bunnies, Easter eggs, carrots, all that. Isn't that fun? So I'll put that in my Easter stash. Also found this uh, cute little book that I can either use for images or make into a junk journal. And I'll put this away for next year. It's called The First Easter. And I thought that was kind of cute. And let's see, is the price on there? Oh, here's the price, 75% off on that. And then I saw this garland. And I think that's what they're calling that. Uh, it, well, it says Easter, but it's, you know, the banners you can hang. Uh, here's the price on that, 75% off. And I thought, here's my thinking, all of these little panels would be so cute in a junk journal as a flip or flip up. And so I will take that apart and use that because look at how cute the bunny is. Now they have bunnies, but they also spell out Easter. So I will use these uh and uh, put it in a Easter uh, junk journal. And what I might do is save it for the Peter Rabbit junk journal. That's cute. And then I can use these pom-poms for another project. So super cute. Let me see and take a look around, make sure I didn't miss anything. Uh, oh, I did, I did. So in the Easter area, uh, again, this was 75% off. And I really don't have an Easter wreath. This was like $4. So let me see if I have the price on here. Uh, well, I thought the price. Anyway, I think it was like $4. They have the wood beads that make the uh, wreath. And then here's the embellishments with the eggs. Isn't that pretty? I just love that. Simple, but very, very pretty. I really like it. And I really do think it was no more than five. I know it was for something. Then, for my dear neighbor that helps me out quite a bit, she drives me to doctor's appointments and stuff, I got her this one. And this was about five something. I think she's going to love it. It looks like a window with a wreath and then the bunny in the center. That is super cute. So I will be taking that over to her. And again, she can paint this if she wants to. She does very, um, she does a lot of, um, you know, like she'll, what she did one year, I think it was a couple years ago, and it just like blew my mind. She, in her hallway, uh, entryway, uh, instead of just having a white wall, she painted brick and she painted it. And I looked at it and I'm like, is that wallpaper? And she goes, no, I painted it. I think she used a stencil or something, but it looks real. So if she wants to alter that, she's not going to have a problem doing that. So anyway, I think that is my collective haul items from Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Thanks for hanging out with me for just a bit. I truly appreciate it. Be safe, be happy, be positive, and you guys rock.